Shabib never misses an opportunity of turning every agenda into a feminist agenda. Take the recent Ben Judah article, for example, in which he laments the supposed lack of friendliness within the United Synagogue, maintaining, as he does, that we're not warm and friendly enough to the core membership. I've already dealt with that in a previous blog piece, but she's now turned that on its head and suggested that the real risk is alienating the more so-called religious element within the United Synagogue. And she bases her supposition on the following. The chief rabbi issued a statement a while back in which he suggested synagogues need to be careful about which speakers they bring into their buildings. She assumes that was in response to a particular synagogue hiring a feminist scholar in residence. More recently, apparently, her husband has been stopped from giving classes within her synagogue. She assumes that's because her husband, along with herself, are supporters of a partnership service. That's a lot of assumption to be making. The chief rabbi has, in fact, overall maintained a dignified silence, but so long as he doesn't come out in active support of her and others' agendas, they'll always maintain a militant stance against. Par for the course, I maintain. But most astonishingly, she draws a parallel with the Masorti movement, suggesting that precisely because the United Synagogue all those years ago barred Louis Jacobs from within, that's what gave rise to the Masorti movement. No, it didn't. It's what prevented Louis Jacobs from turning the United Synagogue into a Masorti movement. And in a similar vein, yes, there is very real concern that these partnership services, which she maintains are halakhically acceptable, but which in actual fact have less than 1% of support from within all of the Orthodox rabbis across the world, also run the risk of eroding the very fabric of traditional ideals within the United Synagogue. But I'm intrigued. The comparison, Masorti partnership services, is because Subconsciously, she knows that both are a real break from historical Judaism and traditional ideals, which the United Synagogue always proudly strives to uphold. Now there's an assumption worth making. Stay happy, be inspired.